Hello, I'm Andrew Simon about Hearts of Iron for as Communist Canada. Canada Popular State? <gasps> there is an update. They've been renamed! Oh my god. We're no longer the PRC. Canada Popular State. Wow, okay. This 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 is an update. This this is an update. An update has happened. I wonder what else is like renamed. French Commune? You were French Commune before, weren't you? I don't think that's a different. I can't remember. Uh, what else is there? There must be things that are different. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come into the United States. Let's go find them. Come into the States of America. Oh, it's still communist. Okay. Um, Canada, people are over Canada, Japan, China, um, Finland. Ooh. Red Finland. No, you haven't named. Like, mm, Republic of Spain. Well, that's, that's never going to change, is it? Hellenistic Republic. Okay. Turkey's still Turkey. Are you... You aren't fascist though, are you? No. Okay. Here's the plan. We've got to ship units over to our French front. We're massively outnumbered at the moment. If we murder you, the problem should be solved. So we just gotta just gotta push. In the meantime, I want you on close support. C Kang, join Comaturn. Well, it's a bit late, mate, but sure. No fighters. We've got no fighters whatsoever. And they could join into our war. Do we have any fighters? Like, that I can even... No. We have zero... F wow, this is this is not good. Um, well, C Kang is going to get its ass handed to it. China, if you would mind, uh, you know, winning over there, that'd be grand. Okay. So, over here I have... Honestly, I don't want to select you two. I want some infantry left behind because I want to use them for a um, naval invasion. But you can all join on here. Because you're not any good in a naval invasion. Meanwhile, Denmark isn't doing particularly well either. Come on, we gave you a head start. You just got to get into Berlin, right? Ich bin eine Berliner. Ich habe ein Berlin. I have a Berlin. That communist people and Canadian people can have the capital cities of Europe. All right, let's get our research. So we got the upgrade for the artillery and the rockets. We could go, ooh, 50% discount. I might as well use it. Six days ahead of time. I mean, does it apply to anything else? Does it give me any more details? Like, because that could be shared with something else, and I'm not sure if it is. I'd rather not use it if it is shared. We need infantry anti-tank to take out the German mechanized and tank units. Not the biggest of issues, but yes. Oh, also reinforcements are starting to pour in. Thank you very much. And they're coming down here. Okay, that's not helpful. Good job there. I need to save my manpower. Manpower is a massive issue. Uh well, you're dead. You're just holding, like, you aren't even pushing, like, there's no one on that line. I can't tell, there might actually be people on that line. How's it looking up here? You're trying a push that's gonna fail. Yeah, fine. What's this? Non aggression from Yugoslavia. No, sod off. You joined the wrong side. Well, you joined the okay side. You didn't join the Axis, but you could have at least joined Comintern, right? We're lovely people over here. Yes! Start capturing the land! 
Please, dear God, start capturing the land. Get to Goddamn Gibraltar. It's not particularly tough, right? Just get up here, manage to get the Straits of Gibraltar free, right? That's all you got to do. Mobile infantry. Keep going. Mass motorization gives an organization. Manpower is low. Modify government. I mean, I could modify government. But then I wouldn't have enough to get my uh, upgrade if I need it at some point. What I might do instead is just get my next load of army units and then attack here. And then ship them over or something. Just to claim a little bit more land. It'll give me a tiny bit more manpower. This front's stagnated, but again, if I push this front, I'm going to have some issues. Right, let us select you. Select half of you. Create a new unit out of you. Move you over here. And yeah, I'll sure, I'll take the crappy French units. 16th of the support artillery, nothing else. Fine. Oh, have I got the upgrade that allows me to have 24? Now I'm working on it, so I don't have it yet. So right, here's your plan. Forest and Hills? Uh, sure. Go up to Sherbrooke. Then, naval invasion from Sherbrooke to... Here. Maybe not and mm, yeah, not Antwerp. Right. The idea being we'll then be able to try and push around as they redistribute the forces. I'm not sure if I need naval superiority, let's just check. Technically, I have it, because someone else is in the channel doing it for me. France, I think. Chromium? No! St what? Steel? Really? I need more steel. Huh. How about that? Thought that wouldn't be an issue. I mean, I do use a lot of steel. Chromium. Wow. <laughs> a lot of chromium. What did I just start building? Whatever it was, it used a lot of steel and chromium. That's high tech right there. Someone decided to attack and we're supporting them. United Kingdom. Oh, we're getting pushed back here. Oh, hello. Oh, keep it up. The steal from the French Commons really helping. I right, appreciate it, mate. Yeah, your breakthroughs are going to quickly collapse. Grizzly, let's upgrade our tanks. Uh, it would be medium tank, medium tank, medium tank. There we go. And I will upgrade. You've got enough points. Let's upgrade your main gun. You'll need that penetration to be able to beat the German tanks. Piercing 100, that seems good to me. Uh, we'll upgrade the engine. Get 10 kilometers per hour. And then probably want to upgrade reliability a little bit. Oh, we can go better than that then. Right, what will we upgrade? Uh, we can upgrade the armor. What's the armor like? Okay, so armor is now over our gun. Like, our gun can't pierce our armor. Basically, the way it works, I think, is something like you get an extra 50% attack or you lose 50% attack if your piercing, like, doesn't hit your armor or whatever. So it's not like, you know, you get increasing, like, benefits of being over. You just, you're over or you're under. So yeah, we'll save this as a Grizzly Mark 1. 
start producing me Grizzly Mark 1. Which we need a lot more steel for. High French economy. We're just going to have all your steel if you don't mind. Research. Way ahead of time for the Centurion. Paris might not be a bad idea. Yeah, let's research Paris. I'm spending a lot of troops on this. I don't mind if they push me back just a little bit. But at the same time, they are losing a lot of people pushing. And I always have my fullback line. Oh, you're joining in too? How quaint. You think you're actually going to follow through with that attack? I don't. You never do. Yeah, he sets up like lots of naval invasion plans and then sets troops to do them, but never actually does them. Which is annoying. Oh, hello. You really are keen on pushing, aren't you? More steel. You know what? Let's just get loads of steel, right? It's not like I don't have the civilian factors to do it. Hope is that we can chop them off. Bulgaria capitulate. Good for you. Nicely done. Keep pushing. It's a very slow war, this. But it's hard for every single inch of this war is, you know, one way or the other. It could be life or death. Where are my, where are my units? We're about to get a whole crap ton of infantry coming through. Tanks. We've got plenty over there already, really. Mechanized. Yeah, just keep that up. Okay. Now, I'm wondering, if we have a quick look at our um, infantry... Let's go watch over here, just in case something happens. Infantry Brigade. Uh, we probably want to add next unit of artillery. Rocket artillery, let's compare... Defense is lower, breakthrough is one higher, soft attack 65, soft attack higher, hard attack less. So basically this is just worse than artillery generally. Okay, right, let's go back, let's just save that. I definitely want to go more artillery. Now, let's check their stats. If I add, let's slow it down right now, um, mechanized. Improves everything, combat width goes down I think? Oh, up, it's bad if it goes up. Um, weight goes up, supply usage goes up. But everything else around here goes up really nicely. So if we go to our mechanized, I want to compare the two. Mechanized, got all that defense, etc. Reliability only 30%. Oh, that's, the, that's the extra bonus, okay. Portion losses in combat that can be saved in return to manpower. Ooh, I can get 40% trickle back. That is really good. I never thought it would be that high. That's really good. We should have gone for earlier. Um, is there a better like, symbol for mechanized? No, I don't really want to use that tank because it's mechanized. Oh, well. Uh... Basically, by adding a little bit of mechanized, I'm hoping that the weight on the division will be better. Like, if I replace a few of you with um, just mobile, what changes? Right, mobile just changes the recovery rate. If I change you to be mechanized, what about the combat width? 24. I think it's ideally got to be like 22 or 20. Right, 
20. HP's down a little bit. What have we got? Infantry. Soft tech's down. Mm -hmm. Not convinced. It's either between two motorized or one motorized. Because combat width of 20 allows you to do more things. So if a combat unit is a width of 80, you can fit four divisions with a width of 20. So each combat tends to be 80 wide, I think it's the standard. So by having four units, you get the maximum width on your fight. If they're more than 20, they don't tend to fit as well as multiples. So if you get like 22, you don't be able to get three units in fight. So that's why you want it to be 20. Or you could go for 40 and have ridiculously large units. Uh, but if I do this, I also decrease the number of people in each squad, which means that that trickles back in my manpower pool. Um, the issue is, is you need a lot of mechanized. So what I'm going to do for now, I'm going to cancel that back. What if I remove the second unit of artillery? No, I need that for the soft attack. Yeah, so what if I remove that? For now. The reason I'm not doing too mechanized is because it's going to cost me more in mechanized and I need to produce more mechanized anyway. So I'm going to save that. Now the unit's ready for deployment. What are you talking about? Units for deployment. You have units ready for... De well, deploy them then. You've... should auto deploy them really oh there we get deployed all of them good 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 uh right how many motorized like mechanized do i need the five thousand okay let's make more of those lots more many many mores Right, seems like a good idea to me. Uh, what else do I need? Close air support, just drop a load and then go to there. Fighters, yeah, you need to keep building. I, although it says filled, it's not. I, I need, it's because I don't have any wings of them because they all got destroyed. Um, all right, that should help alleviate some of the mechanized need, but not a lot of it. I'm going to need so much steel right now. All right, 14 units of infantry. Technically, you're green. So let's get you to just exercise temporarily. And you should stop being green like any second. Stop exercising. Don't even be a unit anymore. Just get your asses in gear. Uh, literally in the case of everyone because you've got now mechanized attached. Uh, and get your asses over here. Meanwhile, on the eastern front, well, it's the eastern front for us. Not historically the eastern front. They are pushing in. I could do, you know, falling back to the fallback line, but the issue of that is I lose this. Free civilian factories. Okay, how far am I with my nuclear attack? Nuclear attack, nuclear... Ah, oh, ages. So, basically not building reactors anytime soon. We still need more military factories. So, yeah, let's just produce military factories forever and ever and ever. And we'll probably need to grab some more, maybe. That seems like a good idea. Uh, we actually still have a tech for more um, spaces to build stuff, so... That'll be good. Ooh, more Lion-class battleships? Why not? It's the only tech I have. Any more chromium? Right. 
How's it going up here? We're folding at the top. Around here, we're okay. There we go. You'll push back. Enjoy. Oh, God. What is it about these civilian factories? Uh, sure. We should probably just build coastal forts everywhere. Just in case. I wish I could just click and drag to just build them all over the place. Just in case we lose the war in Europe. Here's our new plan. Coastal forts. Everywhere. Everywhere, 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 everywhere. There we go. This might take some time. Excuse me. Sorry. Coming through. Just need to build a fort on your face. There we go. Don't worry about me. There we go. The problem is I have a fairly large seaboard now. Uh, pfft, no one really want to land this far from Canada, will they? At least the big provinces, right? Might as well do it. No. Not, not going to be bothered with up here. There I will be, just in case, because that gets fairly inland. And then, just in case they choose to base themselves down, like, south somewhere in South America, which they could do. I'm going to build a few here. But I think this is a good place to say, I've been Andrew Elysium. I will just place these off camera, because there's a lot of them that need placing. A scary amount of them that need placing, in fact. Uh, so, yeah, I've been Elysium. If you enjoyed, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. The war is going... Well, it's going okay. They are eating the manpower by pushing us back. We're getting better and better troops that can have some sort of holdout. Um, the addition of the medical tents is really helping our manpower. Incredibly helping our manpower. 4% trickle back is amazing. Every kill they get, they only get like 6% of it, effectively, for our manpower. And that's what's going to kill us. Nothing else is going to kill us apart from manpower. We have the industrial base to go for days. We have the most powerful industrial base in the world. It's the manpower that's a problem. So, it's going to come down to that. The meat grinder, where we just hope not to get ground. Is that the right term? I think it is. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, till next time. You know what to do. And stay shiny.